Want to speak real Filipino from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at filipinopod101.com. Hi everyone! Do you know how to say I love you in Filipino? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Mahal kita. Or if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say May gusto ako sa iyo. May gusto ako sa iyo. May gusto ako sa iyo. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say Hindi kayang ilarawan ng mga salita ang pag-ibig ko para sa iyo. Hindi kayang ilarawan ng mga salita ang pag-ibig ko para sa iyo. Hindi kayang ilarawan ng mga salita ang pag-ibig ko para sa iyo. 10 things to do in the summer in the Philippines. First word is magbiyahe sa ibang bansa. To travel abroad. The first word is magbiyahe sa ibang bansa, which means to travel abroad. Magbabiyahe ako sa ibang bansa pag may nakita akong murang plane ticket. I'll travel abroad when I find a cheap plane ticket. So my favorite place actually is El Nido. It's really, what do you call it? It's, like, it's very calm. The water is not cold, it's not warm, it's just perfect. So you will enjoy it. So start booking now. Magrelax sa beach. To relax at the beach. Next we have magrelax sa beach, which means to relax at the beach. Abril ang buwan na pinakamainam na magrelax sa beach. April is the best month to relax on the beach. So actually for this month, it is now something like 30 to 40 degrees. And April and March are considered the hottest months in the country. Mag-aral ng Filipino gamit ang filipinopod101.com To learn Filipino with filipinopod101.com Mag-aral ng Filipino gamit ang filipinopod101.com Which means to learn Filipino with filipinopod101.com So for example, if you really like are very eager to learn Filipino this summer, <laughs> you can say Subukan mong mag-aral ng Filipino gamit ang filipinopod101.com at kasama ang mga kaibigan mong Pilipino. Try learning Filipino using filipinopod101.com with your Filipino friends. Matutong magluto ng pagkaing Pilipino. To learn to cook Filipino food. Matutong magluto ng pagkaing Pilipino. To learn to cook Filipino food. So if you want to use it in a sentence, in Filipino, you can say, Kung gusto mong matutong magluto ng pagkaing Pilipino, magsimula ka sa adobo. In English, you can say, If you want to learn to cook Filipino food, start with adobo. Because it's the easiest thing to cook. Mag-ihaw. To have a barbecue. Next word is mag-ihaw, which means to have a barbecue. Pinakamainam ang mag-ihaw ng manok sa beach. It is best to have a chicken barbecue on the beach. You can actually barbecue other stuff. Like from, from chicken, pork, to innards. We even have a coagulated blood. Magparty, magdamag. To party all night. Next word is magparty, magdamag. To party all night. Huwag kang masyadong maglasing kung gusto mong magparty, magdamag. Don't get drunk if you want to party all night. In the summer, it's best to party all night. And actually, in, in the in many, say, Boracay, if you go to Boracay, there are lots of um, parties all night with bonfire, lots of music, drinking. So, if you want to experience all these, book a cheap ticket now and come to the Philippines. Mag-hiking. To go hiking. Mag-hiking. In English, to go hiking. For example, we can say, Kung gusto mong mag-hiking, siguraduhin mo muna na kaya ng katawan mo. If you want to go hiking, make sure your body can handle it. So now it's very, what they call this, like a, a thing for young people to climb Mount Pulag, which is the third 
uh, highest peak in the country. According to Google, it's um, in Nueva Vizcaya, which is in the a bit north of uh, Manila. Magsaya kasama ang mga kaibigan. To have fun with friends. Magsaya kasama ang mga kaibigan. In English, to have fun with friends. Mas mainam pang magsaya kasama ang mga kaibigan kaysa magparty magdamag. It's better to have fun with friends than to party all night. It's so much not funnier. But you can do anything that you want since it's summer. <laughs> no one will judge you. It's summer. Dumalo ng summer school. To attend summer school. Next word is dumalo ng summer school. To attend summer school. So in Filipino, you can use it in a sentence like Kaysa sa maglaro ka lang ng computer sa bahay, mas mabuti pang dumalo ka na lang sa summer school. Instead of just playing computer games at home, it's better if you attend a summer school. Manatili sa bahay at mag-internet. To stay inside and browse the internet. Manatili sa bahay at mag-internet. To stay inside and browse the internet. For example, you can say in Filipino, Pag tinatamad akong lumabas, nananatili lang ako sa bahay at nag internet When I'm too lazy to go out, I just stay at home and browse the internet. You put on nice clothes and then the moment you step out of the door, you just melt. So I kind of understand like how some people would want to just stay indoors during summer. And so what you can do is to browse the internet. Wow. 10 phrases for surviving back to school. Let's look at our first word and it is backpack. In Filipino, you say backpack, right? So if you want to say backpack, you say backpack. <laughs> <laughs> it's a less e. Eh? It's like a, a less a a because of the k actually. It kind of sounds a bit rolled, right? Mm. So backpack. So if you want to say backpack, you say Backpack. So, you want to ask your friend, which is easier to carry, a backpack or a shoulder bag? Then, you say in Filipino, ano ang mas madaling buhatin, backpack o shoulder bag? So, the next word is kaklase or in English, classmate. So, for example, you have a very beautiful classmate in your school. So, in Filipino, you would say, Sikat ang maganda kong kaklase sa buong paaralan. My beautiful classmate is popular in the school. Of course, where would she be popular if she's your classmate, right? <laughs> if you say, your, my beautiful friend is popular in the school, okay, yeah, but my beautiful classmate is popular in the school. Kaklase is like a general, I guess it's just a term for classmate, right? We don't use it for any other thing, just classmate. Okay, so the next word is takdang aralin. Or homework. In Filipino, you would say, Nakikita ko ang halaga ng hindi pagkopya ng takdang aralin. I can see the value of not cheating on my homework. Good for you. <laughs> okay, next word is pagsusulit. This is very important, so remember this. It might come up in your exam. <laughs> nice. <laughs> because pagsusulit means exam. So, for example, you want to be really sarcastic to someone who got a high grade in their exam. So, you will tell them, Ang mataas na grado sa pagsusulit ay hindi nangangahulugan na matalino ka. Or in English, a high grade in the examination doesn't mean you are intelligent. Hello, Supe. <laughs> Just, I have a friend. We're really friends. But uh, in high school, he was the valedictorian. And I don't really study in high school. But he was the valedictorian. And then now we are always telling him, you only became valedictorian because you are good at memorization. And what's nice about him is that he admits it. <laughs> That's why we're still friends. The next word is summer vacation. In English, it is summer break. Actually, it's also in English, summer vacation. But when we say summer break in Filipino, we don't use the term summer break, but we use summer vacation more, right? In Filipino, you would say, masaya ang summer vacation. Summer break is fun. <laughs> Actually, in the Philippines, all, all year round it's summer, but it's not all year round it's vacation, no. It's just summer. And usually we have summer vacation from 
end of March, beginning of April, for in time with the Holy Week, right? And that's actually the period when we have the hottest temperature. Sometimes around 40, right? 38, 40. Yeah, so it's, it, it, it can get really hot. But because we have lots of beaches, there's always some place where you can go. And it's pretty cheap everywhere you go. And so summer break is fun. The next word is paaralan or school. Probably, like many people, you have high hopes for yourself. So you want to say that you want to enter into a good school. So what you say in Filipino is, Gusto kong makapasok sa magandang paaralan. I want to enter into a good school. Next word is pag-aaral or to study. Ang pag-aaral ay isang pribilehyo. In English, studying is a privilege. Whether you think of it as a privilege or as a right or as a responsibility, it's actually up to you. But hopefully you are studying hard. The next set of words are actually phrases slash sentences that you will use when you go to school. <laughs> actually, you can use it also for different things. You just change some words in it. So the first sentence is, Ito ang unang araw ng klase. Or, it's the first day of class. So, you can also use it, if you're working, you can say, Ito ang unang araw ko sa trabaho. Or, you can also use it for many things. Like, you have a boyfriend or girlfriend. This is our first day together. <laughs> so, you can say, It's our first day together. Ito ang unang araw namin. So, next sentence is, Pareho tayo ng klase. Which, in English, is, We are in the same class. Uh, this is very useful, actually, if you're very enthusiastic to see your friend that you haven't seen since summer vacation. The next sentence is, Ano mga klase ang kukunin mo? What classes are you taking? This, again, I think this is more applicable for college students, right? Because in the Philippines, um, especially, it depends on the university. But, for example, the university where I went to, UP, right? English. <laughs> so usually, if you want to be in the same class with your friend, then you ask, what classes are you taking? Hi everyone! Do you know the 1,000 most useful phrases in Filipino? In this lesson, you'll be able to know all of them. So sit back, relax, and have a cup of tea as you listen and learn. Saan ba ang banyo? Mawalang galang lang po. Galing. May reservation ako. Magkano to? Ano ito? Salamat! Talaga? Pwede nyo ba akong bigyan ng discount? Libre ba ang wifi? Pwede ka ba kunyambi? Meron ba kayong marirecommend? Pwede ko bang isukat ito? You just learned the 1,000 most useful phrases in Filipino. And if you're interested in learning more, try learning the core 2,000 word list. With this, you'll understand 95% of the language. And best of all, this is not a joke. Check out the description below and go to filipinopod101.com now. See you next time. The top. 25 phrases. Let's begin. Kamusta ka? Hello, how are you? The first phrase is Kamusta ka? Hello or how are you? So you, when you're meeting someone for the first time, you try to be a bit more polite and say, instead of Kamusta ka, you say Kamusta po kayo? Which is the same as hello, how are you? Magandang umaga. Good morning. So the next word is Magandang umaga, which means good morning. People that are very, very warm, very kind, so it's very common to hear like people greeting each other when they pass by each other in the corridor and like in the classroom, for example, in the office. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Magandang tanghali. Good noon. So now what do we say when it's noon? We say magandang tanghali. Good noon. In the Philippines, especially for, especially during lunchtime, when you come in and then, like it's everyone, everyone is eating, you always say, magandang tanghali. And then when they hear you say it, you sound as if you're a native speaker. Magandang hapon. Good afternoon. Okay, so when the morning is 
done, noon is over, then what do you say? Magandang hapon. Good afternoon. Magandang gabi. Good evening. So if you want to say good evening, you say magandang gabi. Anong pangalan mo? What's your name? So what if you're going to ask someone for their name? So you say anong pangalan mo? Or what's your name? If you meet someone for the first time, if it's the morning, you say good morning. What's your name? Magandang umaga, anong pangalan mo? When you want to ask someone for their name, you need to be polite. So you add po, which is the particle, and then you use the plural form of you. So you say, ano pong pangalan nyo? Ako si, I'm. If you are on the receiving end of that question, then you say, ako si, name. Or, I'm, name. Ako si, Erika. I'm Erika. Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka. Nice to meet you. If you want to express now how happy you are to meet this new person, then you would say, Ikinagagalak kong makilala ka. Nice to meet you. Since this is the first time you're meeting this person, you should use the polite form, which is, Ikinagagalak ko po kayong makilala. Ayos lang ako. Ikaw. I'm fine. And you? When someone asks you, how are you? Of course, either you are okay or you're not. You will say you are fine. So how do you say it in Filipino? You would say, ayos lang ako. Ikaw. In English, I'm fine. And you? Or if you are not okay, you can say, ayos lang ako. Ikaw. Paki, please. So if you want to ask someone for a favor, what would you say? In English, we say, please. In Filipino, we use a prefix that we say as paki. We add to another verb. So for example, we say, please bring this to the office. Then you will say in Filipino, pakidala ito sa opisina. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. Or thank you. Walang anuman. You're welcome. Then, you also want to be polite and say, you're welcome. Or in Filipino, walang anuman. Oo. Yes. How do you express agreement in Filipino? You say, oo, which means, yes. Very simple. For example, there's an older person uh, talking to you and you want to say yes. Uh, you should be a bit more polite and say, opo. Hindi. No. So what if you want to say no? Then you use hindi. Or if you want to be polite, you say hindi po. Sige. Okay. So say you have a friend that, who asks you, do you want to drink with me all night, have party all night, you know, those kind of things. <laughs> and then you say, yeah, fine, okay. So in Filipino, you say sige. Paumanhin. Excuse me. So for example, you have an older colleague at work and um, this person is busy, but you need to ask her for something. So you say, excuse me. And in Filipino, you say, paumanhin. Or paumanhin po, to be more polite. Patawad. I'm sorry. If you did something really, really bad, then we use patawad. I'm sorry. Anong oras na? What time is it? So what does anong oras na mean? It means, what time is it? Nasaan ang CR? Where is the restroom? Nasaan ang CR? Or, to be polite, because even at that time, you have to be polite, even if it's like really urgent. You have to be polite, you say, Nasaan po ang CR? Hindi ko alam. I don't know. Hindi ko alam. I don't know. If your boss asks you, Oh, where is your office mate, this person? And then you don't know, then you say, hindi ko po alam. Sandali lang. Wait a moment. So if you say to your boss, because your boss is asking you, where is the report? You want to say, wait a moment. So you say, sandali lang po. So your friends came over to your house and you haven't taken a bath. You haven't fixed yourself. And then your friends just want to go out to have fun. But you want to say, wait a moment, wait a minute. 
give me like an hour or something to at least get ready. So you would say, sandali lang. Magkano ito? How much is this? So you finally got dressed and then you went out with your friend. And you are at the mall, like looking at some uh, nice pearls because in the Philippines we have lots of pearls. How, how will you ask the salesperson? So you can say, magkano po ito? Or if you're a friend or if it's like a younger salesperson probably, you can just simply say, magkano ito? How much is this? Pwede bang makuha na ang bill? Could I get the check please? After dinner, you want to pay because it's your treat, because you forced your friends to eat adobo. So you would ask the waitress or the waiter for the check. So how do you say it in Filipino? Pwede bang makuha ang bill? Could I get the check please? Or, if you cannot remember all these, just simply do this. Tulong! Help! So you're walking in the street and then you're very... Um, not careful with your things. So you're walking, you're holding your bag like this, and someone stole your bag. Like, oh. You want to, to call for help. So what do you say? You say, Tulong, help. And then you, you, the, the more you scream it, the more people will hear you. Hanggang sa muli. See you again soon. It's the end of the day, and you've had fun with your friends. So you tell your friends, Oh, okay, bye. See you again soon. Which in Filipino is... Hanggang sa muli. But in regular conversations, you don't really say this. We tend to say, see you or sige. Hi everybody, I'm Erica from FilipinoPod101.com. Do you know what monsters Filipino people are scared of? In this lesson, you'll learn about three scary monsters in the Philippines. Let's start with the most popular monster, Manananggal. Ma-na-nanggal. It means flying vampire. The Manananggal is a flying vampire torso and head. This horrific vampire separates its upper body from the rest of his body at night. It then flies around to prey on the fetuses of pregnant women using its very long tongue. That sounds pretty scary, right? You might have heard about the next monster. The next one is Chana. Chia Nak. It can be translated as evil baby in English. Chana can be the offspring of a demon and the woman. Or it can be the spirit of an aborted fetus seeking revenge. It lures people into the woods by crying like a baby. Okay, here's the last monster. Capre. Capre. Have you heard of this next one? This is the smoking giant. This monster is hairy and has a pair of red eyes. It is usually seen in big old trees and is not necessarily evil. However, it gets angry and vengeful when its tree is cut down. It also loves smoking cigars. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the names of each monster and repeat after me. Flying Vampire Manananggal Manananggal Evil Baby Chana Chana Smoking Giant Capre Capre Well done! In the Philippines, children sometimes dress up in scary monster costumes and attend parties during Halloween. Traditionally, 
From the evening of October 31st till November 2nd, All Souls and All Saints Days are observed. Thousands of Filipinos visit cemeteries to pray at and clean the family graves and offer flowers, candles, and snacks. The atmosphere is festive and jovial, like a family reunion. And that's it! You just learned about three of the scariest monsters in the Philippines. Now learn Filipino twice as fast by downloading all your PDF cheat sheets, including survival phrases, pickup lines, business etiquette, and more. Check out the description below and go to filipinopod101.com now. I'll see you next time. Hanggang sa muli! It can be translated as evil baby in English. <laughs> 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 because it's an evil baby. Shy, shy, Because I, I don't show myself to, to people. I'm so good. I can't see. Twenty words you'll need for the beach. Okay, um, the first word is shades. Shades actually means sunglasses because it shades your eyes from the sun. For example, pairam naman ng shades mo. Can I borrow your sunglasses? Salamat. Okay, the next one is tabing dagat, meaning beach. Nakatira ako malapit sa tabing dagat. I live near the beach. I feel like it's peaceful and you could hear the waves crashing. Let's just hope that it's not a huge wave crashing into your house. Yeah, beach. Paglangoy, swimming. Ang paglangoy ay kayang matutunan ng lahat. Swimming is a skill that everyone can learn. I still have hope. Araw, meaning sun. Mas gusto ko ang araw kaysa sa buwan. I prefer the sun to the moon. Kabibe or seashell. Mahilig akong mangolekta ng kabibe. I enjoy collecting seashells. Why though? <laughs> Swimsuit, which is definitely has the same meaning as swimsuit. Bawal ang hindi naka-swimsuit sa swimming pool na ito. Those who are not wearing swimsuits are not allowed in the swimming pool. I just come in with like t-shirt and shorts. I can't go in. Tagapagsagip, meaning lifeguard. We usually just call them lifeguards anyway. Huwag kang lalayo sa hindi tanaw ng tagapagsagip. Don't go far away beyond the watch of the lifeguard. Yeah, cause like if he can't see you drowning, he can't come and save you. Jet ski! I'm not even saying the meaning for this one. Because you know what it is. Mayayaman lang ang nakakabili ng sariling jet ski. Only those who are rich can buy their own jet ski. Yeah, because it's expensive and you don't need it for daily life. Okay, next is beach chair. Meaning, beach chair. For example, ayokong lumangoy kaya doon na lang ako sa may beach chair. I don't want to swim so I'll just stay by the beach chairs. Sand castle. Which means sandcastle. Hindi ko na enjoy ang paggawa ng sandcastle nung ako ay bata pa dahil parati na lang itong inaalon ng tubig. I never enjoyed building sandcastles when I was young since it kept being washed away. Like, I never really built sandcastles when I was young. It's more of like, let's bury someone in the sand. Yeah. <laughs> and make like mermaid figures of them. Yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> Okay, the next one is palamigan, meaning cooler. 
This is kind of a straightforward. Lamig means cold or cool. And like if you put the prefix pa and the suffix an, it's gonna be like the place where. So it's like the place where cold. But actually, yeah, most people will just call it a coal man. Yeah, it's one of those brand names that became common names. For example, siguraduhin yung dalhin ang palamigan sa beach para masarap ang inumin. Make sure to bring the cooler on the beach so that our drinks would be thirst quenching. Cause like, everywhere it's hot, so we like our drinks cold. A cooler is a must-have. Okay, next is laki ng tubig or tide. Usually in the Philippines, we just call it either high tide or low tide. But anyway, you could use it in the sample sentence. Hindi ako marunong tumingin ng pagpalit ng laki ng tubig. I don't know how to observe the change of tides. Guess if it's like low, it's low tide. And if it's high, it's high tide. There's this expression if you ask Filipinos like, how many islands are there in the Philippines? They would ask you back, in high tide or low tide? Kulay balat, meaning tan. Bakit ang mga may kulay balat ay gusto magpaputi at ang mga maputi ay gusto magkakulay balat? Why is it that people with tan skin want to have pale skin and people with pale skin want to have tan skin? This is so true. Just be proud of your skin color. Next is snorkeling, meaning snorkeling. May magandang snorkeling spot sa Coron Palawan. There is a nice snorkeling spot in Coron Palawan. If you want to go to a beach in the Philippines, please go to Palawan because it's very beautiful. Chinelas or flip-flop. Hindi na kailangan magdala ng sapatos pag pupunta sa beach. Chinelas na lang. There is no need to bring shoes when going to the beach. Just wear flip-flops. Chinelas is part of like Filipino culture. It's like the footwear you use at home. It's also the footwear that parents might use if you're being naughty. Sunblock or sunscreen. Kailangan maglagay ng sunblock dahil hindi maganda sa katawan ang matinding sikat ng araw. It's necessary to put on sunscreen because the strong UV rays is not good for your skin. Yeah, this is very important because like the sun could be very damaging to your skin. Bikini. Meaning bikini. Bihira lang ang nakabikini sa beach sa Pilipinas. It's quite rare for people to wear bikinis in the beaches in the Philippines. I never really like tried to count who has bikinis and who has swimsuits and who has just t-shirts and shorts. Everyone is free. Beach volleyball. Meaning beach volleyball. There's an easy one for you. Beach volleyball ang usang sport kapag taginit. Beach volleyball is a trendy sport during the summer. Okay, the next word is puno ng nyog, coconut tree. Nung bata kami, mahilig kami umakyat sa puno ng nyog. When we were young, we liked to climb the coconut trees so that you get the coconuts. The next one is pamaypay, meaning fan. Gusto kong bumili ng pamaypay. I want to buy a fan. It's like, yeah, like if it's hot, you just need a fan or a lot of fans. We also use fans for barbecuing, so it's very popular during the summer. 10 must-know autumn vocabulary words in Filipino. Okay, now let's go to the first word. It's sweater, meaning sweater. You got that one right. <laughs> Filipinos don't, don't usually use sweater because it's hot. <laughs> There's this place called Baguio. Baguio City, uh, like north of Manila. It's cooler there and it's definitely like the summer capital because everyone wants to go to the cooler place. I guess that's where you, you might need the sweater. Or if you want to go to the cinema, which has their aircon on full blast, then maybe you need a sweater. And where would you get a sweater? There's this store that has recently come to the Philippines, but it's a Japanese brand, <laughs> you know Uniqlo? Well, you could use this sentence. Maraming murang sweater na mabibili sa Uniqlo which means there are a lot of cheap sweaters that can be bought at Uniqlo Well, it's not actually cheap if you're earning Filipino peso Just saying Okay, moving on to the next one, it's maulan meaning 
rainy. Ulan means rain and we have ma in front of adjectives. So, ma ulan. Ma ulan means rainy. Ayaw ko ng maulan dahil mahirap maglakad. I don't like rainy days since it's hard to walk. It's not like gravity is 10 times more powerful if it's raining. <laughs> A lot of Filipinos never bring umbrellas. We never check the weather if it's gonna rain or whatever. <laughs> so usually people get caught in the rain and just like go like, Ah, rain! <laughs> Need to get out now! Or they just like stay where they are and like let the rain pass. The next one is mahangin, meaning windy. Actually, mahangin is also slang for someone who's like super arrogant because like, it's like a lot of air. <laughs> it's like, yeah, mahangin. <laughs> Kahit hindi mababa ang temperatura, pwede ka pa rin ginawin kung mahangin. Even if the temperature is not low, you can still catch a chill if it's windy. Okay, the next one is maginaw, meaning cool. Ang pinaka maginaw na lugar sa Pilipinas ay ang Baguio. Baguio is the coolest place in the Philippines. Like temperature wise. <laughs> okay, so the next word is definitely something you want to know if you want to talk about autumn. It's taglagas. Taglagas means autumn. Walang taglagas sa Pilipinas. There is no autumn in the Philippines. Because tropical climate, hot and hotter only, with a dash of rain and thunder. Next one is malamig which means cold. You know what's good cold? Drinks. Cold drinks. I really want a cold drink right now. <laughs> okay, so like maybe you want to compare two cities like Tokyo and Toronto. Which one is colder? Well, in Filipino, you can use this sentence. Mas malamig ang taglamig sa Toronto kaysa sa Tokyo. The winter in Toronto is colder than Tokyo. Yeah, you know, the earth closer to the sun. Farther from the sun, farther from the sun, it's colder! Yay! Science! The next word, it's castañas, meaning chestnut. Okay, for a sample sentence, Mahilig ang nanay ko sa castañas. My mom is fond of chestnuts. Hmm, is my mom fond of chestnut? I don't know. Mommy, mahilig ka ba sa chestnut? Please comment. <laughs> so the next word is, Damit na may mahabang mangas or long sleeve shirt. Mas formal tingnan ang damit na may mahabang mangas. A long sleeve shirt looks more formal. Next word is mga dahong nalalagas, meaning falling leaves. Falling leaves. <laughs> Maybe you're one of those like melancholic people and like you think that this is so like sad and like <laughs> makes you think about life. Well, then you could use the sentence. Nakakalungkot makita ang mga dahon na nalalagas. It's lonely to see falling leaves. The next one is araw ng pasasalamat which means thanksgiving. So we also don't have this in the Philippines. Yeah, if you're American and you want to and you want to talk about it, you could also say thanksgiving but like if you want to like go full Filipino then please use araw ng pasasalamat. It literally means day of thanking. How are your Filipino listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? May isang lalaking nagre-reklamo tungkol sa mga produktong binili niya online. Ano ang kanyang ipapapalit? Opo, ito ang linya para sa customer service. Mawalang galang lang. Kakalating lang ng mga pinamili ko, pero hindi ito ang mga in-order ko. Pasensya na po. Ano po ba ang mali sa mga naipadala sa inyo? Ang in-order ko ay jacket na may tatlong butones, pero itong nakuha ko ay may dalawa lang. Ah, maling modelo po siguro yung naipadala. Pasensya na po talaga kayo. Papapalitan po namin agad kaya maari niyo po bang ipadala sa amin ang freight collect? Oo, at ang shirt na in-order ko ay iba sa nakita ko sa inyong website. Hindi ito ang inasahan ko kaya gusto ko rin sanang ibalik. Ano po ang iba? Ang akala ko, t-shirt ito na walang kolyar, pero polo shirt pala ito na may kolyar. Ah, naintindihan ko. Ginupit nyo na po ba ang tag? Oo, pero hindi talaga ito kamukha ng nasa larawan. Pwede ko pa rin ba itong isa uli? 
Sir, mayroon po kami nito sa parehong may kulyar at wala. Ayon po sa aming datos, pinili po ninyo ang may kulyar. Talaga? E di kung ganoon, mukhang mali pala ang napili kong damit. Maari po kaming magpalit ng produkto hanggat nakakabit ang tag. Pero mahirap na pong gawin yun kapag natanggal na ang tag. Ah, kung ganoon, maari bang pakipalitan na lang ang jacket? Sigurado po. Pasensya na po sa abala. Ano ang kanyang ipapapalit? May isang lalaking nagre-reklamo tungkol sa mga produktong binili niya online. Ano ang kanyang ipapapalit? Opo, ito ang linya para sa customer service. Mawalang galang lang. Kakalating lang ng mga pinamili ko pero hindi ito ang mga in-order ko. Pasensya na po. Ano po ba ang mali sa mga naipadala sa inyo? Ang in-order ko ay jacket na may tatlong butones pero itong nakuha ko ay may dalawa lang. Ah, Maling modelo po siguro yung naipadala. Pasensya na po talaga kayo. Papapalitan po namin agad kaya maari niyo po bang ipadala sa amin ang freight collect? Oo. At ang shirt na in-order ko ay iba sa nakita ko sa inyong website. Hindi ito ang inasahan ko kaya gusto ko rin sanang ibalik. Ano po ang iba? Ang akala ko, t-shirt ito na walang kolyar pero polo shirt pala ito na may kolyar. Ah, naintindihan ko. Ginupit niyo na po ba ang tag? Oo, pero hindi talaga ito kamukha ng nasa larawan. Pwede ko pa rin ba itong isa uli? Sir, mayroon po kami nito sa parehong may kulyar at wala. Ayon po sa aming datos, pinili po ninyo ang may kulyar. Talaga? E di kung ganoon, mukhang mali pala ang napili kong damit. Maari po kaming magpalit ng produkto hanggat nakakabit ang tag. Pero mahirap na pong gawin yun kapag natanggal na ang tag. Ah. Kung ganoon, maari bang pakipalitan na lang ang jacket? Sigurado po. Pasensya na po sa abala.